Hello people, welcome back to another episode of Pesex. A couple of months ago, I've been searching on what containment area is and found mostly nothing useful from YouTube. So this video is based on what containment area is and also about aggressive and conservative processing. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe right now and turn on the bell icon for more videos. Before I show you the gameplay, in short, center containment means when the opposition attacks to the center, the intensity of defense is really high at the center. So when an opposite player is in position of the ball at the center of the pitch, the players defend with very high intensity and increasing numbers. Notice how the players close down the opposition to cut off all the attacking options in this clip. This is what Klopp uses at Liverpool and the secret is the compactness of the whole team. The players come close to one another making it hard to attack through the middle. In this clip, you'll notice that while defending, the team remains compact and the teammates stays close to one another so that they can apply high pressure one after other if the opposition tries to attack through the center. This way, it is easier to recover the ball when the opponent attacks to the center. Here when the opposition attacks to the wings, since the team is very compact, the opposite wing has a lot of free space and the players there are left unmarked. Now when the attack is switched to the other side, the team as a whole shift to the other side and now this wing which was previously guarded is now left open. When the manager uses front line pressure, the defensive line remains high up the pitch and the forwards participate in ball recovery too to win the ball back soon after it is lost. Because of this reason, front line pressure with aggressive pressing along the center is preferred by many managers these days. This technique is vulnerable to diagonal long balls and switching plays. Now we'll take a look at wide containment. For wide containment, the intensity of defense is very strong at the wings. The players try to block all attack through the wings. This includes crosses and as well as long balls through the wings. For a manager who uses wide containment, if the opposition attacks through the center, then the team is more vulnerable than in the wider areas. The players who participate in defense are spread throughout the field to prevent attack to the wider areas. These players also react much faster when the ball occupies the wider areas. Because the players are spread all over the field, the compactness of the team is lost and attack through the center is easier like I said before. In this clip, I am using a manager with frontline pressure who uses aggressive pressuring in the wide areas. Since the containment is wide, at the center, only one of the players try to win the ball at a time. Wide containment is really vulnerable to managers who use attack through the center, especially using long balls. And likewise, center containment is vulnerable to managers who likes to attack through the wings. Before we wind up guys, I would like to show you a clip with a manager who uses all out defense, wide containment and conservative pressing. During all out defense, as soon as the ball is lost, every player drops back without trying to win back the ball. Notice how the players drop back as soon as the ball is lost in this clip. So I guess you guys have got a rough idea on what defensive styles is, containment area and about pressuring. This is a short summary on what we discussed guys. So if you have any doubts please post it in the comment section below. All out defense and conservative pressing is really effective against long ball spammers especially 
when the containment is centered. Another advantage of Fallout Defense is that because of its less intensity, the players can conserve their energy throughout the match. But for aggressive pressing, even though it has high intensity and a high recovery rate, the players lose their energy easily and lack stamina towards the end of the game. For participating in free tournaments, please visit the link in the description below. So guys, if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification for further videos. Goodbye until we see you again with another episode of Best X.